Hi, I'm Anderson, a Cloud Support Engineer here at AWS Office in Cape Town, South Africa. Sometimes, customers ask me, how do I create a custom Windows EMI? I tell them, to create an EMI from existing instance as a best practice, we should run sysprep to remove all system-specific information, including the Computer Security Identifier, also known as SID. Let's get started. It's important to know a few things when using sysprep. Don't use sysprep to create a backup of your instance, because sysprep removes system-specific information. This means that you might have unintended consequences for an instance backup. It's not a best bet to use sysprep with a production instance. To be safe, first create an EMI of your instance, then launch an instance from the EMI outside any network that has access to your Active Directory, preferably in a different VPC. Finally, run through the sysprep process. Sysprep is not supported on Windows 2016 Nano Server. For Windows 2016 or later, use EC2 launch settings to initiate sysprep. As you can see, I'm already logged in AWS Management Console. Go to EC2 dashboard. Then on the left, I will go ahead and choose the instance. Check the IP address of the source instance that we are going to use to create the EMI. Connect to your Windows EC2 instance using Remote Desktop, RDP. After connecting, from the Windows Start menu, open EC2 Launch Settings. Go to the General tab. For Windows Administrator Password, choose Randall. Choose Shut Down with Sysprep. Choose Yes for the confirmation prompt. Wait for the instance to move to a stopped state. Now we are ready to create an Amazon machine image. Select your instance, click Actions on the top, choose Image, Create Image. For image name, enter a name. For image description, enter a description. Click Create Image. Click Close. To check the progress, select EMI on the left. Wait until the image becomes available status. After the image completes, you can restart the instance you previously stopped. Go to EC2 dashboard. Select Running Instance. Select the instance. Actions. Click Start. Wait until it's running. Now we have a sysprep image which can be used to launch new instances. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.